Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we're here at Disney Springs to check out all the latest Disney merch. Let's go. It is now Christmas here at Disney Springs, and look, the Christmas tree is up. This is one of my favorite Christmas trees simply because it has snow. So they shoot snow around the Christmas tree at night, at various times at night. And hopefully I will show you and we will experience it. And one of the things I noticed about this year's Christmas tree, or was it here last year, is the succulents. Look at that. They look like succulent flowers, don't they? Let's look up close what ornaments they have this year. Okay, I see lots of gold tinsel and the ornaments look very nice and shiny. It just looks overall very elegant. I think it fits Disney Springs. This here looks like a lamp, but it's actually an ornament. We'll be back. We'll be back to experience the snow, right, Mr. Emo? The Disney Springs Christmas Tree Stroll 2023 has begun and I wanted to start by showing you the Moana Christmas Tree. And just look, one of ML's favorite features are the Kakamoras. Can I take one of those? Oh my gosh, they are adorable. We got a starfish. And then I noticed something up there. Where is it? Okay, there is Hey Hey. Do you see Hey Hey inside the coconut? One of the best parts is the heart of Tafiti is on there. Just look at them. So evil, but so cute. A nightmare before Christmas tree? Hello. But look, look at the best part of this tree. First of all, it's the Sally ornament right there. And that right there. Okay, just spotted the Jack ornament right there. And look at the Christmas wreath that with the eyes. What are you pointing at? A toy. Deadly nightshade and frog's breath. The topper is beyond amazing. Can you see it? It's zero. And he's uh, flying around. Here we have the Star Wars tree. The force will be with you always, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, just take a look. We have helmets. Isn't that awesome? Wait, we have the Yawa, the, yes, the Jawas. How awesome. I always mispronounce their name, by the way. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, just take a look at this. The bow and arrow, is this from the Ewoks? Yeah. I love it. You can see the bells. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Chewbacca. Chewbacca's bell, and then up there is C-3PO. In our next video, we will be touring the World of Disney and we will show you all of the trees around World of Disney and what they're themed to. So stay tuned for our next video. This is the wish tree for the new movie coming up in theaters November 22nd. I don't know anything about that movie, so I don't know what this is about. I don't know what the majority of this tree is about, but I'm sure we'll understand it as soon as we watch the movie. But uh, take a look, we have the wish star right at the top. So cute. This tree is insane. It is the haunted mansion tree. And just take a look. There is so much detail to this tree. I mean, look at this portrait with the fox. I saw this and I thought it was just random white fabric. And then I looked up and noticed it's uh, Constance Hatchaway, the bride. And all lit up is the cake. And the head of the groom, it's missing. Okay, one of Emil's favorites, Guardians of the Galaxy Tree. And the quote that they have on there is, I am Groot, by Groot. Best part of this tree, Groot, right there. Aha, uh -huh, love it. What else you see, Emil? Do you spot anything in particular? Oh, okay, we have the uh, the mask. Star-Lord's Star, -Lord. Star -Lord's mask. We also got the mixtape in various locations. Mm -hmm. 
Planet Hollywood is one of the locations where they have the maps and also the redemption location. I'll explain what that is in a sec. Another area is over at the Lego store. This is the map. The Christmas tree troll, tree troll. What am I saying? Christmas tree stroll. Try to say that many times. 2023. And when you open it up, it does have a few offerings here. Like, I don't know, 10% off of your order. Chicken guy, Earl of Sandwich, 10%. Girardelli, Joffrey's Lego. Free Lego penguin mini build with purchase of $40 or more. So yeah, you have a variety here. And then here is the map with the sticker. So basically, you put the sticker where you found found the Christmas tree on the map and it says here that at the end once your map is complete bring it to the redemption locations for a special surprise and these are the locations now last year it was a button that said the tree stroll 2022 it wasn't like the greatest biggest thing I'm not going to redeem it this year and show you guys because I don't want to spoil it but that's what it was last year made it to chicken guy for a quick meal and ML here is gonna try the Korean barbecue sandwich. It's a limited time offer. What does it have? Sticky Korean barbecue sauce, Asian slaw, and pickles. They also have holiday shakes. They have the holiday cookie shake and the frozen peppermint cocoa shake. Here it is. Now ML. This one is the Korean one. That's the Korean one. Okay, that looks good. Why don't you take a bite? Before we do that, uh, I got the Southwestern. I, oh, I always get, well, I always get that one or the classic, the classic. So I really like this one though, cause it does have corn beans and I like the sauce, yeah. So Mr. ML here approves. What do you think? Yeah, he says it tastes like Korean barbecue sauce. It's sweet, yeah, a little but spicy. a little spice. It is now time for the Art of Disney. And they have a special artist event. It is a Thomas Kincaid art event. They have daily artist signings. It is running until November 19th. And I was actually here filming for my socials and I actually received this piece from Thomas Kincaid um, to get it signed and sketch on the back. So I chose the Princess and Tiana. This is called the Princess and the Frog art piece. And I chose it because you guys know how much I love Princess Tiana, how much I identify with her and her following her dreams, working for her dreams and also finding true love in the process and look what I got look this was actually signed and sketched by Dirk Wonderlich and right he worked on the art together with Thomas is what he explained and I chose Ray to be sketched on the back it was so awesome it was a wonderful experience guys so this is the 14 by 14 and I'll show you what you guys can buy here the 14 by 14s, which is the one that I, I got, are $99. They are wrapped canvases and they have so much to choose from. Like this, for example, is the Cinderella one. And they have so many views. This is what I love about Thomas Kincaid is the amount of detail you can find within the piece. And the hidden details. The hidden details too. Look at this. We have the stepsisters with the, her stepmother. We have the little mice. And of course, her dancing with her prince. I just love it. On the back of the pieces, you get the certificate of authenticity as well, which is really nice. And uh, look, they have Emma's favorite. We have Moana. What is here? Beauty and the Beast. And I love that they have princess princess. What am I saying? Christmas, Christmas. selections now, since you know it is Christmas time. And uh, look at this. This is perfect. Mickey's nephews. There is Donald's nephews, isn't it? Yes. And Clarabelle. That is gorgeous. And then, oh, there he is. There. I was like, where's Huey, Dewey, Louie? One of them is up there. And they also have this one where they're by the campfire. So we are here with Dirk Wanderlich and he's taking a moment to kind of show us two of his pieces which I found super interesting. So I'll come on this side and you show us what you wanted to show us. Okay. Well, 
first off, this was my first Christmas painting down below. Mickey's Victorian Christmas. Mickey's Victorian, I love the name. And these first two homes are based on homes that Tom painted. Okay, Thomas Kincaid. Thomas Kincaid painted. Uh, Change the colors, but it ties it into the whole Kincaid family. I love that. And it has yes. Mickey's nephews, I noticed. Yes. <laughs> Not many Everybody's know them. They think it's baby Mickey. This was the very first time anybody put Clarabelle. And I forget the name of the... Yeah, I forgot her name, but she's a... a big hen. chicken. A big chicken. Yes. <laughs> this was my most recent Christmas painting. And I did something that Tom did in one or two of his paintings. This painting is hanging on the wall of the train station. That's amazing. That's what I love about your art pieces where you can always find something hidden in the background and you can stare at it and just find new things. And I like it, I love it. And these two buildings are based on buildings here on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. Wow. Yeah, there's one the same one. Yes. That's true, that's yes. true. And I have another little tribute. It's the name of this railroad is R-O-D Railroad. Okay. Any guesses what R-O-D is? Roy. Right. Right. Roy. Roy this Roy? Roy. Oh, I forgot his middle name. Oliver. Oliver. Oliver Disney. Oh, yeah. Oliver Disney. Nice. He's the one who oh, none of this would have happened without, without him. him. Yeah. He made his brother's dream true. And almost everybody's here. Chip and Dale are playing on the luggage cart back there. I love it. There's Clarabelle, Horace, Horace Collar. Of course, Scrooge. I love it. Thank you so much, Dirk, for showing yeah. us all these fun hidden details. Thank you for the opportunity to just present my paintings. No, my paintings thank you. For Tom, Thomas Kincaid Studios to the world. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I see Lilo and Stitch. We have the Lion King 101 Dalmatians. And on this side, more Christmas. Over here, they have Frozen, Mickey and Minnie in Hawaii. And yes, she is wearing Crocs. So I'm not gonna go and show you each and every piece because this video would be super long. But anyhow, so we have these eight by 10 ones. These are the smaller canvas, wrapped canvas. They are $59. They also sign and sketch these, by the way. And look, we have the evil queen. And you could just, oh, there's, there's Snow White. There's Snow White, you see the seven dwarfs, you see the prince, Mr. ML here. You guys know how much of a fan he is with Sorcerer Mickey, so uh, he really likes this one. Featured on the wall is this one here for the Disney 100, and Mickey and Minnie look so elegant, and I'm so glad they have included Mickey's nephews and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And Maxie for the Peter Pan or the Tinkerbell fans. Take a look at this one. Look the bottom TikTok. Oh, I just noticed the clouds. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love TikTok on there. If you love Disney princesses, which I know many of you do, they have so many art pieces for the princesses. For example, we have this Snow White one. I love the colors. And over here, okay, this is Mulan with Mushu. Over here, oh, Pocahontas. You don't see Pocahontas a lot. What else they got? Okay, there's the Princess Tiana one that I have, but in a smaller print. We have Princess Aurora. Oh, make it pink, make it blue. I love that. Uh, oh my gosh, look, this one is the larger print, but this is Merida from Brave. 
And oh, our favorite, we have Ariel. Oh, she's in her wedding dress. It's your favorite. Well, my favorite, yes. Look at her. I know this one, you do have to keep in mind which size you're gonna get, because they do crop from the original, but this is really nice. Look at look at King Triton on there. And the castle in the background. And the castle in the background. Oh, yes. The castle, but here's Prince Eric's castle. For this Moana art piece, you guys know we love Moana. This is the 14 by 14 and a 14 by 14 square. It is $99 and this is the framed art piece. It is 1,280. It is an 18 by 27. It's called Moana. Look at that. So beautiful. But just so you can get an idea. My goodness. Look at this Beauty and the Beast art piece. Now, take a look. We have the rose back there. We have um, Belle's father, Co Cogsworth, over there. We have Chip and Mrs. Potts. Oh, this is gorgeous. Just like look at the detail of this. I'm trying to just kind of look around and observe. And I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things, but uh, of course, here is the evil one. What's his name? Oh my gosh. How did I forget his name? Gaston. Like I said, this event is running till the 19th and the artist, the schedules for the artists are on the link down below in the description box. But you can also see the full collection at thomaskincaid.com because you can purchase these pieces online or you can call this number right here. So you guys uh, go and check it out. Okay, let me just finish up with this. Uh, hello, I am so obsessed with this piece. It is the Beauty and the Beast Christmas. They even got the Christmas tree here and everything. Look, just look, how adorable is this? Oh my gosh, Emil is like, are they ham or something? I'm like, no, it's a penguin. Let's see what's new at the Ganagerie, the chocolate shop. Take a look at this, Olaf. And it's an Olaf hot chocolate cocoa surprise. It's milk chocolate shell filled with Ganagerie hot cocoa mix and house-made marshmallows. Adorable. The Olaf hot cocoa surprise is $17. And let me just zoom in so you can look at those front teeth. I mean, look at that. A gingerbread Mickey chocolate pinata? Oh my gosh, look at the peppermint ears and the buttons. That is adorable. It's milk chocolate pinata with crisp pearls and gingerbread toffee for $28. I love peppermint bark. This is chocolate peppermint bark and it says there it is white and dark chocolate with crushed peppermint candy for $10.50. Let me just zoom in and show you that peppermint candy. Okay, that looks really good. And a gingerbread pecan toffee. It's spiced toffee enrobed with milk chocolate and encrusted with toasted pecans and gingerbread crumbs for $11. And look how crazy that looks. Crazy good, I mean. And I'm guessing that you can purchase the chocolates that are located right over there and maybe put them inside this box, right? For Christmas, it's a nice Christmas gift, Mickey and Minnie. There's Olaf one more time. Guys, chocolate is my weakness and you know we have to try a new square. And I saw those gingerbread men there and I knew that had to be one of the ones we're gonna try. It's called gingerbread, it's honey and spice ganache with milk chocolate. And I saw something else here, eggnog. Creamy holiday spice ganache with dark chocolate. Which one is it? The second one. It must be that one there. Yeah, that is. I have both in hand. Let's start with the gingerbread one because it is definitely the cutest. Let me just, can you zoom in on that? It has a gingerbread man and can you tell the little sparkle in the background? So here we go. It's very milky and it has a nice subtle hint of gingerbread spice. So it's good. I feel the chocolate, very milky 
and hint of gingerbread. Now the eggnog. Mr. Emil does not like eggnog, but I do. As you can tell, it's white on the inside, the white filling, and it's a bit bitter. Like, like that bitterness you get from alcohol, I guess you can say. I don't know. Yeah, eggnog, because it's eggnog. So yeah, I think they really hit the spot with this one. So much so that Mr. ML here, who hates eggnog, liked it. He liked it. Made it inside of the Lego store and hello, what is this? Is this a new sculpture? Maybe for the Disney 100? I don't know, but it looks amazing. Oh, it looks like a float. Sorcerer Mickey hat there. That's beautiful. Okay, I think it's the Magic Happens float over at Disneyland. Found this already built and on display. Can you guess what it is? I'll, I'll give you a couple seconds. It's Home Alone. Home Alone, and look at that. Okay, plumbing and heating. The truck. Oh my gosh, it is $300. I'm gonna try and look for the box because I cannot find it. And I think you can see on the inside of the Home Alone home, which by the way, if you didn't know, you can see the Home Alone movies on Disney Plus. Okay, there's a better look at the thieves, right? And look at his face. It's burned with the clothing iron. Mr. ML here has, is it heavy? Oh gosh, it's heavy. 3,955 pieces for 18 and older with batteries included. And look at this, here are the thieves, the van. Oh my gosh, look at Kevin at the front of the home. Look at the florals. We got other characters from the movie. And let's look at the backside to see the inside of the house, which we weren't able to see over there. Okay, uh, this looks like the dining room. Look at the wreath in front of the door. We have, oh my gosh, a Christmas tree. There is the attic bedroom. So Kevin's bedroom over there. That's nice, the restroom. And then, uh, oh, we have the different scenes where he attacks the thieves with the pizza. Look at the tarantula. Oh my gosh. And then look over here, we have the yeah, basement the with the room. furnace. Yeah. yeah. And this is the iron face scene. If you are in need of a Lego Christmas tree, they got one here and it actually rebuilds to something else. So it's a two in one, $45. Yep. Snowfall here at Town Center is every half hour after sundown. It is nine o'clock, well, nine something, and we missed it. Unfortunately, we could not stay till 9.30 and wait for snowfall. So uh, we promise the next time we come back to Disney Springs, we'll experience the snowfall for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a quick like. Extremely really helps the channel. And also press that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video, which is three times a week. Questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you wanna see the video prior to this one, where we go to Disney's Epcot, we visit the World Showcase, specifically the Germany Pavilion, where we find Disney ornaments, including Disney princes and hand-painted ornaments. You can check it out right up here. Oh, we also went to the Mitsuko Japan Pavilion store where we saw holiday gift sets, Hello Kitty and more right up there. Or if you can check out our Christmas 2023 playlist right down here. And I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye.